Okay guys, what's up? We're going to do a little tip trick here in Excel for chart formatting and I'll show you the reason why Excel is really bad at this and the fix that I use in uh, much of my client work that I do with this. Uh, before I get started, don't forget, check out smarthelping.com for more uh, financial models, templates, all kinds of advanced logic here in Excel and Google Sheets. Mostly they're financial forecasting templates. Um, you know, I do a lot of stuff in the SaaS industry, real estate, underwriting, um, and then a lot of just industry-specific financial models, uh, joint venture waterfall distributions, and then some accounting tools. And here you get a lot of uh, Google Sheet stuff, uh, human resource tracking stuff, um, and just architectures in Google Sheets, sales uh, pipeline tracking, um, and valuation. So check it out, support me there. Uh, tons of value there. I've been building these things for a long time and I always took on the hardest jobs on Upwork and learned um, what was most valuable. And so you get that with all these templates. All right, so let's get back into our issue here. And what it is, is chart formatting in Excel will not auto format your length of periods if it's a blank reference. And so here's the problem. Let's say I have some data and I wanna show the chart range and it might have data that changes over time or possibly the user might change the number of periods so let's say i want to report on let's say only five periods instead of 18. well if i blank these out and i could do that with formulas chart does not change even though all these values are blank if the range is targeted excel will show all the periods I did see a couple VBA things I did years ago on this to try to help, but it was so unstable. Like there was buttons you could click to like reformat the size and only take into account periods that were there, but it was very unstable. It was just not user friendly and you had to know VBA to do it, which most Excel users don't know it. And it's just, it's not useful for, for the average person. So that's the problem. I can't dynamically change the range of a, a chart if the references are blank. Here's the solution. And let's go back over to Google Sheets. That's the solution, guys, simple. So look at this, I've got periods here and I've done a formula that automatically adjusts the row and I'll uh, do it on this one too. I'll just say if, you know, D4 is blank, then blank, otherwise uh, we'll take the previous value. So I've got this here. So, and I have the data uh, is just for values of 44 and the periods across. Now, what if I only want to show six periods? Well, watch this, six. The chart now has adjusted to six periods. Very nice, very nice. If it was uh, back to 12, now the chart is accommodating all 12. And you could do this for as many periods as you have. Uh, let's see, how many did I put in here? 15. Let's say I referenced, uh, and you can reference, the nice thing about this is I could reference all the way over to let's say column Z. And this will only show if the uh, X axis is not blank. That is a very, very nice feature here. So if I pull these over, now I can show, you know, let's say five periods, if it were annual numbers, or if it was like a monthly, I wanted to show 12, or if it was say longer, you know, 19 months, oh, I did up to only up to 15, but that's very nice. So it automatically adjusts for your length. It doesn't just, um, so if you had like, for some reason you only had a couple periods and then, and then you all of a sudden wanted to see 60, well, you would have to show all those little periods, the, the short amount on a big long chart, even though, um, You'd, you'd see these, you'd see bars here that you could barely see and the whole chart would extend all the way out instead of resizing itself. So that's a really nice thing with Google Sheets. Um, really nice. They, they auto format and Excel just won't do it. I don't know why. They've also got, a, Excel does the same issue with drop downs where you can, in Google Sheets, you can target a whole drop down column and the Google Sheet drop down will only show the values that are not blank, but in Excel, you have to manually target. And then if you add more to it, you'd have to manually change the drop down, or else it'll just, the drop down will show a bunch of blank cells if you target the, like 100 columns, even if they're blank. I did see a little bit of improvement in that with Excel, but still sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know. So, I mean, Google Sheets, if you're doing charts and visuals where you have dynamic uh, timelines, 
in periods that you need to report on and you want the charts to look presentable and professional you know there's really no nothing you can do in excel you've got to go to google sheets um so that's all i got for you guys on this one uh yep there's no real solution in excel you got to build it in google sheets and it, i mean it's the same thing you just need a free google account this is free to use excel actually costs money to use um this you sign up with gmail and anybody can use google sheets I'll put this link in, in the description so you can play around with the, the, the chart and just see kind of how I did this dynamic formatting. But um, that's all I got for you. Check out smarthelping.com for more templates and financial models. And I'll see you guys on the next one.